Hey everybody, this is Billy, and uh, today we're going to do a little boat tech here. If you've got a uh, Malibu Mastercraft or any boat that's using an Inmar engine, especially the Monsoon series or 350 series, um, they had some issues with the exhaust manifolds. You can kind of see this is a little different than uh, some of the older stuff that was a two part. It's a one piece deal. You can see this is the ATX cat, you can see right there. A lot of times you'll see that on there. Um, but it's a one piece unit that has the exhaust and the water flows through it to keep it cool, right? Um, now, one of the problems that these things have is they, they crack. And a lot of times people will notice that their boat is missing or doesn't sound right or just something isn't, you know, it's, it's just hesitant or it stalls at idle. And a lot of times that is that these things are cracked internally. Now, you can't see it. I mean, realistically, this looks, if I cleaned it up, would look like a brand new um, exhaust manifold. It only has 300 hours on it. And uh, from the outside, it looks good, right? So I'm, I'm gonna show you here how you can check it. Now, it has three plugs, one, two, and three. And this one, you will just use a water, something you can hook up a hose to. And these ones, you just need a couple plugs. Man, I don't want to give you the wrong size here. I think they're five eighths, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. But we're going to check it here. Now we're going to turn the water on. And we're going to see here what's going on. Okay, you can see water coming out there, out of the number, what would be the number six hole? I'm sorry, that would be the number, what's that? This would be on the, what's that, that'd be six and eight. See, it's coming out right there, right? And so there is no way to fix these. You're gonna have to order it. Now there is a fix to prevent this, and I'll tell you why. This is happening, let me turn the water off here. Now I'm not an engineer, but I have an idea of what's happening here. Now they have a new rerouting system from Inmar that you need to put on your boat if you don't already have it, okay? Because what happens is you turn the boat on for the first time, right? And hot exhaust is flowing through these without water getting to them because water doesn't get to them until the thermostat opens. Now you may have heard in the past that, you know, you never put cold water on hot aluminum, like right, like a block, because it'll crack it or heads, right? And the same thing in here. I think these things get so hot, and then when the cold water comes rushing in a few minutes later, you know, it just it fractures the inside. It's you know, hairline cracks them and then eventually they just break inside. So anyway, and you know, and not only that, it's always a good idea to check your oil. I didn't I didn't check my oil in a few times out. And it was like really milky and I have no idea how long it was like that. And I kind of lucked out on the deal, but you definitely, you know, you can check your oil, you know, to make sure it's not milky. That will, that will happen when these things start leaking. And plus you, these it can really damage a motor because if you put enough water into the cylinder, it'll hydro it and it'll, it'll bend a rod or do all kinds of different damage, you know, rust parts and seize, seize uh, valves. And so anyway, that's one of the things, and like I said, get the fix, get the rerouting. It's 120 bucks, I think it bakes, and uh, it will reroute it so there's always cool water flowing into these, right? And it keeps them, it actually just keeps the manifold a lot colder in general. It just does. So anyway, there you go. And um, you can do this, okay? You can do this. This is not rocket science, changing these out. It's not hard to do. Um, it's very expensive if you go into a boat shop, uh, but you could do it yourself. Um, the manifolds themselves, I think brand new are about 850 if you search around. And uh, yeah, there you go. So there's the Enmar, uh, was it EXT Cat manifold flaw that I believe, you know, is a flaw from the factory. There's a lot of these. And the port side, before I let you go, the port side for some reason, seems to be the one that gets the worst maybe it's to do with wake surfing i have no idea but anyways this thing right here
came flying out of the exhaust, right? And luckily it got caught. You can see here, it got caught on the O2 sensor. And this is the cap, the element inside the cap. And you can actually, I think they sell these replacements, but I don't know what happened, whether the water got on there or something happened, but definitely did something it didn't like. And thankfully they caught it when uh, I swapped the manifolds. I noticed this was in there, you know? So make sure you check these two because these can really cut your horsepower way down.